Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny Lorenzo. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? If you're not new to my channel, what's up? What's good? What's poppin' too, boo? What's poppin'? Do you like somebody who next? Yeah. Well, I'ma be there when the time comes. I'ma set your sexual. We can be flexible, baby girl. I'll make you... So today's video is going to be five signs they're cheating on you or five signs you're losing them. <laughs> no, but for real, I had to make this because some of y'all during Valentine's Day was getting played, baby. When I say played, I mean, he was in the other room with the girl while you was over here putting on your dress, trying to figure out what you was going to wear, please. So I came here to help you guys out a little bit, you feel me? To give you guys the little tips on figuring out if that person really is cheating on you. I'm going to start with number one. If you ask for their phone and they say, for what? What do you mean for what? <laughs> what do you mean for what? It doesn't matter. Like, get it together. What's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. Come on. We share the same things. We share the same spit. What do you mean for what? And they're over here talking about, it's an invasion of privacy. I don't like that. Bull. Bull. That is not no invasion of no privacy. Because if you really had nothing to hide in that phone, then you would have no problem with giving me your phone. Because what do you have to hide? What do you have to hide? Talking about invasion of privacy. Invasion of privacy is you going down on my... That's an invasion of privacy, but you still do it, right? But you... So my number two is going to be when they come over and they want to cuddle immediately. When I tell you immediately, like they come over, they take off their stuff, they lay in bed, and they want to cuddle, and then they want to do the do. And it's like... I didn't even ask you how your day went. I didn't even ask if you were hungry. Are you hungry? Did you eat all day? Like, what is going, what, what did you do today? But no, you're ready to, to, to start. You're ready to start groping all up on me. Like, what's good with you? Are you okay? Like, did you, I don't understand. I'm stuttering. They just don't care to have a conversation with you. They don't care to ask how your day went. They don't care to just watch a, sit down, watch a movie with you, sit down, watch a TV show to start a TV show. They don't care. And if they do start the TV show, if they do turn on the movie, you know what the movie is for. You know what the movie is for. And it's like, why you gotta do that? Why? For what? Why can't we, like, talk? Why can't we communicate? If you're having an issue, communicate. If you're having an issue, communicate. They don't really care for you the way that they say they care for you. They just care for you for what you got and what you can give them. Number three has to be my favorite one, and it's they claim that you're cheating. This has to be, like, the funniest thing ever. Like, they're always suspecting, oh, like, who's texting you? Like, why is your phone vibrating so much? Why is it vibrating in the morning? Da -da -da -da. Like, doing all of this stuff. Like, who's texting you in the morning that is so important? Or, why you look so good? Why you smell so good? Where are you going? Why are you going to this party? Who's at this party? You only want to go to the party because blah, blah, blah. Like, all of this just dumb stuff that they're creating in their head because they're doing the same thing period i don't want to have an argument i don't want to have an argument about it it's just it's just fact i mean there must be some of those situations where the person is accusing the other person because they have evidence that they're cheating and them themselves are not cheating i understand that but if you have no evidence that the other person is cheating and if you know that the other per why is it so loud outside So like I said, if you have no evidence that the person is cheating and if you know for a fact that that person is doing what they're supposed to do in the relationship, staying loyal to you, doing everything they can to show you that they're not cheating and you still accuse them of cheating, baby, look at yourself. Look at yourself. That's what you got to watch out for. So if somebody keeps claiming and accusing you of cheating and you know for a fact I'm doing what I have to do in this relationship, are you? Are you? that's really the question are you my number four is gonna be when they start texting you it starts becoming dry and it starts becoming like okay lol what are you doing lol oh yeah same lol like you know those type of text messages those one word born ass text messages and even if it's not a one word it's it's a closing sentence so it's like they say something but it's something that you can't respond back to that just shows way too much because it's like you're in a relationship with me but you don't even want to have a conversation with me through text message through phone call through facetime like what's going on what's really happening here huh 
Let me know. Let me let me know. Let me know what's going on. Or another one could be like they're ecstatic to be in a conversation with you one day, but then the other day they're mad boring and bland, and then the next day they're ecstatic. You want to know what that means? That means they want your attention. They need your attention. They're fiending for your attention. But then the next day they're like, you know what? I'm getting it from somebody else. I don't really need to pay too much attention to that person. And it's like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. No matter what time of day, no matter what day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you should be feeding for my attention, period. There shouldn't be one day where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to start giving her attention or him attention. I'm going to start paying more attention to them. I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to ask if they want to do something or whatever. And by do something, I mean come over to my crib and watch a movie. And then the next day it's going to be, yeah, I don't really have time for them. I don't really want i don't really have energy right now like i don't really, they're kind of boring to text you know i don't really nah nah cut it right there cut it right there cut it right there once you see that cut it right there just do it just cut it right there and my last one but not the least is going to be number five and that is they put no effort into taking you out on to date they don't make no efforts into bringing you flowers giving you gifts posting you on any sort of social media just they don't they don't care to show you off if they do do it they're gonna know oh shoot my other hoes is gonna see that and they're gonna it's gonna scare them off you feel me so that just shows you too much oh my other hoes is gonna see that i went to 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 roof chris with her so they're not gonna want to come with me or do stuff with me ah uh -uh, you feel me it just shows a lot when somebody doesn't want to post you on the social media. And if somebody gives you, I'm sorry, I just don't agree with this at all. But if somebody gives you, oh, I don't want to put my business out like that. Pause. Pause. That is not putting your business out. That is showing people who you are with. Putting your business out is telling people when you guys have an argument. It's telling people when you guys broke up or, or going through some things. That's telling your business okay telling your business is not posting them and being like this is my beautiful girlfriend telling your business is not posting him and being like oh my gosh he took me out on a date i love him that's not showing your business that's appreciating the other person and what they do for you nothing more nothing less so when somebody says i don't want to put my business out there no don't do that don't fall for that trick so friend if any of these applied to you make sure you address your partner make sure you have a conversation with them and if anything break up with them because clearly i'm not what you want if you're over here doing all of that extra stuff right right i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like these type of videos and i need you guys to hit the like button i need you guys to comment down below what other type of videos you want me to make or comment down below what you really liked about this video if anything related to you if you want some advice i could definitely help you down below in the comments Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you did like my video. And make sure you check out my other videos. Bye!